So it, this is what I wanted to do, which was uh, feature the carbon fiber. So I'm just finished shooting the paint and uh, the clear and all that. And so it, uh, when I flip the hood, it'll remind me of uh, how I uh, got this thing built using the uh, the carbon at the base. So anyway, super happy. It's kind of trick. Well, I'm pleased. I uh, had to sand this down and rebase it and clear it again because uh, I thought I could uh, touch up the base. I got some uh, junk in that was down against the base coat and I thought I could sand it out and ha ha ha. I had to start over and uh, took a little bit more effort this time and I tacked off First of all, I re-cleaned the garage, sprayed more of the 3M dust uh, um, fluid on the floor and the walls, and then I tacked off my outfit and the gun and the hose and everything way more carefully, and the base went down with almost no junk in it, and then I cleaned it up and rebased it one more time, and it was perfect. Then I shot three coats of clear on it, and there's, uh, you know, there's some nibs little bits of dust in it, about, you know, one speck per square foot or so. And I've got that 3M denibbing tool that I've just ordered, so I'll uh, wait until this hardens up a bit and then I'll polish them out, uh, sand them out, because they're, um, they're, they're, they're translucent. The problem I had with the, the dust in the last go-around was that uh, they were, it was dark colored and it uh, was trapped deep, deep in the clear, and a uh, big mistake on my part, so won't be making that mistake again, I can hope. Anyway, this is the toughest panel because it's so big and it's flat, so it's a dust magnet. All the other panels should go a lot faster. When I paint the roof, for instance, I'll be painting it when it's uh, uh, vertical up and down. I'll have it uh, turn sideways, so I won't uh, have as much dust clinging to it uh, the way this panel can attract dust. So, super happy. So this is my little room in the house where I'm leaving things to uh, cure a little bit more. Uh, so the front uh, fenders. They're ready for some uh, 1500 grit uh, wet sanding and then uh, polishing when I'm up to it. Uh, the bumpers front and rear over there, the sunroof is there. It's looking good and the rear hatch is all done as well. So um, I'll get the doors and the spoilers done over the next four or five days and then I'm on to the main body of the car which should go pretty well, and then I'm then I'm done painting. Woohoo! Looking forward to that being over with. Hopefully by the end of May.